Hello. This video is only about how to use such stamp alphas, like the dragon here. Okay. Um, here is Nomad Sculpt and we need the stamp brush. And in the stamp brush settings, you can choose your alpha. You can press on import. And here's the dragon. And add this to your alpha photos. Here. You can use the scaling to fit into the red ring. And here are the fall off settings. You can use uh, such a fall off, but we use now the flat fall off. And stroke type is grab dynamic radius. Here. And at the left side, there's a symmetry function turn it off. We need no symmetry. And then brush here the alpha on the object and you can see it's it's not real clear. At the bottom there's a wireframe. You can turn it on and you see we need more topology. Go a step back, undo and in the topology this is version 166. Um, you can do the same steps in 165 uh, of Nomad Sculpt. And here use uh, subdivision, subdivided. And now we got a poly count of 1.5 million. And this is OK. You can turn the wireframe off, front view, and here. Now when you brush your dragon, it looks like this. Um, there's a intensity slider at the left. You can change your intensity and check what happens. If you need it a little bit flatter, you change your intensity. Okay, the next thing is you can separate this object. When you create a layer, add a layer. And now when you stamp this dragon here, you can open the layer settings and there are three dots here. And at the bottom, there's an extract function. Here's a border smoothness. You can test it, um, what you need, which setting, and press on layer extract. You can test all the other settings, shell, or but we use now the layer extract. Press extract, and here in the scene, when you hide now the um, sphere, the dragon is a single object. Okay. And when you turn on the wireframe, you see it's a, a nice wire. But here at the edges, um, it's stretched. You can now voxel remesh the object and you need a very high resolution. Um, yes, test it. What happens? Yes, it, this works. And now we can turn off the wire. And when you press a few times remesh, the edges uh, should become a little bit uh, 
cleaner. And yeah. The next thing is you can use um, the smooth uh, tool. Where is my smooth here? And change the, the setting to grab dynamic radius. And now when you brush here along, pick the object and brush, do it a few times. The, the surface becomes smoother. Yeah, there are a few tricks uh, to get the edges clean, um, but this is, um, Yes, it's for other video. And yeah, this is one thing with a dragon. Let's delete this. And we need a new sphere. There are other stamp alphas I'm searching for one this one is a uh, for eyes um, and you can use here the symmetry and when you brush here Turn the wireframe on. We need much more topology. Subdivide it. And now test it again. You see something like this. In this case, you need um, the sub function. It's a button here. Press it and now the objects go inside and use a, a more intensity, it's the intensity slider at the left side. And now you get this. And you can use now the smooth, smooth brush to smooth the edges. And you got two eyes. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.